Brothers and sisters, welcome to day 25 of our Advent retreat in the School of the Holy Spirit. Today actually is the foundation anniversary of the Dominican Order. So if you could pray for us Dominicans today and for the Order universally, for vocations and for that, that as Dominicans we would be good priests and brothers and sisters, uh, bringing that fire of the Holy Spirit that God gave to St. Dominic. Um, if we could bring that fire into the world um, and to be really worthy instruments of our calling, that would be great. So we've been looking at sort of external criteria, criterion the last few days uh, with respect to how to, you know, have a general guidance about discerning those inspirations of the Holy Spirit. We looked at, you know, that scripture is very important the teaching of the church, our states in life, our duties. Today we want to look at an internal criterion. And and it's the criteria that Jesus gives himself. He says that a tree is discerned by the kind of fruits that it bears. A good tree bears good fruits. A bad tree bears bad fruits. And so an inspiration that comes from God will bear certain fruits. Especially we see the signs of the, the kingdom joy, peace, you know, the, the, the ability to, to, to be obedient, to give oneself kindness. And so inspirations that lead to this and to also genuine, you know, maybe conversions of heart or, or the, the kingdom of God extending by some kind of form of healing of heart in, in other people depends on the inspiration. This is really important. Um, this is this is a clear sign that the inspiration has come from God. But if an inspiration comes from the devil or comes from our own fallen human nature, then then it's likely to end in sterility, that it will be sterile. And maybe even bear bad fruits like bitterness and anger and resentment and frustration. So this is a is a is a really important criterion. But one of the biggest disadvantages of it is often this could only be discerned after the choice has been made, after the decision has been made. And then we see the fruits. And nevertheless, though, I think one of the things it's important for, though, is that it teaches us experience. So we spoke about that a few days ago, about acquiring a spiritual sense. And we'll speak more about this tomorrow. But the point is that by, I guess, making certain decisions and seeing the fruits of it, we will learn uh, how to have that sense of, of what that inspiration was. And that will help us for the future in discerning inspirations coming from God, different movements of the, the Holy Spirit in, in our life. So, you know, a good tree bears good fruit. And we should be looking for that from our actions, therefore, to build up a memory of 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 those actions and the outcomes to for the future to help us to, to discern more quickly. And so there's nothing like life experience to to provide this. This is why, you know, spiritual directors who are particularly uh, maybe older and elderly who've been through a wise path, they, they are priceless gifts. They're precious gifts because they, they they've been taught by life itself, the university of life by experience and 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 have built up this this memory of 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 this spiritual sense of how God works, you know Saint Teresa of Avila used to say that while it's important to have a pious um spiritual director or someone who who has true piety and who and you know reverence for God and praise and worships, she said it's even more important that you have a learned spiritual director, one who is you know learned in the ways of God in the ways God moves in humanity from life experience and from from knowledge of, of the doctrines of the church and, and church teaching and the scriptures, etc. So we pray to God today for wisdom to discern always those decisions that we have to make, big decisions, small decisions, that we will have the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to order our minds in the right way towards God. May the Lord bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.